The Grizzlies' long pursuit of Allen Iverson may finally be coming to an end as Iverson making the announcement within the last hour via his personal Twitter account. Here is what Iverson posted. God chose Memphis as the place that I will continue my career. I met with Mr. Hinesley, the owner, Chris Wallace, the GM, and my next head coach, Lionel Hollins. Again, and that is from Allen Iverson on his Twitter account within the last hour or so. For more on this story, we welcome an ESPN.com senior writer, Mark Stein. Mark, again, Allen Iverson seemingly extending his career to his 14th season. What is the latest? Well, it hasn't officially gone through the league as a signed contract, but everybody now is treating this as a done deal. Iverson has told the Grizzlies he's coming. He's announced it to the world. And, and really, we've been anticipating this now for over a week and, and probably longer because at this point there, there was really nowhere else for Iverson to go. He spent the whole summer waiting and hoping that Miami or Charlotte or New York, that one of these teams would come at him with a bigger offer, but none of those teams are in the financial position to do so. So uh, in this market, a one-year deal for $3.5 million is, is really the best Iverson was going to be able to do. Yeah, and considering, yeah, far less than what he made last year, nearly $21 million with Denver and Detroit. Mark, um, your thoughts on Iverson making this decision, extending it one more year versus hanging it up? There was a lot of talk that, that uh, when, when you know, we, everything fell apart in Detroit when Iverson said, look, I'd rather retire than, than uh, come off the bench. So uh, at the time, a lot of people were saying, you know what, maybe, maybe he is going to be like Latrell Sprewell. Maybe he just can't bear the thought of not being able to, to start anymore. And it, that, that stance really boxed him into a corner in a way because – with all the other baggage that, that, uh, or reservations teams might have about Allen, if you're basically saying to teams, I'm only going to play if I start, you know, that's going to scratch a lot of teams off the list. But you know, the Grizzlies insist that, that Iverson has backed down from that stance somewhat. They say there are enough minutes there. I mean, there's certainly going to be a ton of skepticism here because they've got O.J. Mayo, Rudy Gay. This summer they traded for Zach Randolph. Now they're bringing in Iverson. Are there really enough basketballs for all those guys? I mean, there's going to be huge skepticism. But you also realize this is a team that's had huge, huge trouble selling tickets. And Memphis mm -hmm. is a city that Iverson can probably still do that. So it'll be interesting to see how much time Allen Iverson will see on the court, but also the effect that he will have in the locker room with the Grizzlies. That is ESPN.com senior writer Mark Stein with the latest on Allen Iverson.